fish camp came from uh, funding from the Alaska Native Education Grant. This is the fourth year of the, uh, the grant. And we had an opportunity because it's the fourth year of a three-year grant to have some extra funding available. And as we looked around and talked to community members and uh, people in the, uh, at the district office and teachers, uh, we found that there's a real need to do cultural education um, and actually do projects, hands-on activities. And so we purchased uh, three 24-foot boats with uh, Yamaha 150s on them which just gives the opportunity for students to do so much. Once you get the gear to be able to take the students out, then we could do a whole lot with the students. And the whole idea is to really um, support uh, what's already been going on in these communities for literally thousands of years. We were uh, naturally from way back then somewhere uh, uh, seasonal gatherers of uh, fish and wildlife and uh, plants and so uh, all this instruction uh, in this modern world uh, have been getting lost in the other indigenous tribes uh, so our idea was we we did not want this lost uh, uh, we did not want our children to uh, lose that. spring camp in March behind Dakak for the birds and gather uh, spring vegetables and then head back down to the main river when the ice breaks and we'd move to fish camp as a family and back then there was no food stamp or government aid and the only way they raised children was gathering for the winter and fish camp was a necessity because majority of our families were nomads and they followed the game the game to where it was abundant and majority of it was out in the wilderness uh, the camping I keeps the family together too and mainly love. Mm. Love. Show love. I I believe uh, it is important information for the children to know their history and way of life as we call it you, uh, the way of living. Fishing is a lifeline of our village people. To store cash and store fish, to preserve it through means of smoking it, drying it, to be able to store it for the winter. Some students are not fortunate to go to um, fish camp, so this culture, fish camp was a good thing for the UP school district. Uh, teaching our traditional way of life, even at smaller grades before our, our children graduate from school, this will give them something uh, to think about and get motivated about living. So uh, that that's an area that uh, really interests us uh, as uh, regional school board members is to bring our traditional values back into our system, our schools, and then uh, maybe back uh, to the community. But for us that are lucky, we go out. We go get our own food. We prepare and, and I'm glad the students are getting this opportunity because I think fish camp makes the family more united, more um, working together, and you know, um, 
dealing with differences, um, that feeling of to be together as a family and to work together and make it a unite thing as a group. Yeah, 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 yeah